James, uh, Tuesday night, headband, goggles, new look, you know, what, how did that come about? I uh, mean, you know, uh, you know, I, I've been busting out all of my shoes lately, so instead of sweet feet, I had to have sweet headgear. But no, actually, I, I normally wear contact things that nature, so I actually need to wear them. Like, I, I can't see well, so the goggles are actually more functional and style based. You see the ball better? <laughs> A little bit. Like, had you been having trouble with your contacts? Is that what it was? Or, or? I didn't irritate my eyes and stuff like that, but um, right. I got these made. They finally came in, and I've been wearing them in practice. Just getting comfortable with them. Uh -huh. You know, it, it, it's just a different feel to them, so you know, yeah. I don't wear them all the time when I wanted to. You know, I felt, I felt comfortable enough to wear them in the game. Did it, I mean, did it help in some ways, Yank? Or is even I, feel, I feel like, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's about the same. It definitely helped in some ways. Definitely yeah. clear. The, the lens is always clear in the context to me, but it was cool. I liked it. Okay. Your, your dunk in the second half when you had the defender inside the circle, how, how satisfied was that compared to your dunk on waves? Uh, it was a little bit more satisfying because it was a little bit more body. Um, coming down the lane, I mean, it was. I mean, honestly, what I remember, like, if we're talking about in game, what I remember the most was just having to reach for it. Because I remember I, I, like, he had his body and his body definitely stopped some of my momentum. So. I remember, like, you could, you know, you can see, you know, trying to make a weak finish. And I remember being there, I was like, nah, I gotta go get it. So I just remember reaching out, you know, throwing it in there. Why? The my team is so second half the man, the whole half. Uh, how much different is that for you, or do you like it better than this post playing and sitting back in the side? I like man to man. Um, helps, helps rebounding. Um, Helps, you know, being able to just, you know, know you had you know, responsibilities, things of that nature. Of course, I like 20 as well. It's really up to the coach. Whatever's going to help us win, I'd say whatever's, you know, easier to defend our, our opponent. In. And, you know, Clemson has been one of the best three point shooting teams over the last couple of games. So, you know, that's one of the, the weaknesses sense, in zone. Yeah. So it definitely made more sense to go man against those guys. Not only they're able to get it off at a high clip, so just being able to run them off the line and, you know, make them make tough tools instead of letting them, you know, sit there and drive and kick the threes. You didn't foul out. It would play 30 plus minutes. So the first time you didn't foul out in a few games. What was it different about the Clemson game? Just being able to only have two fouls and uh, stay out on the floor. Uh, just um, the ref and staff. No, I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is it something that you can work on, or something that, that coaches talk to you about? Just I mean, maybe I mean, avoiding fouls, things like that. I mean, there's no such thing as avoiding fouls. I mean, um, when I avoid fouls, I, I play soft. I mean, you can't do that. So if I, if I foul out, that's what it's going to be. But I have to go out there and I have to compete. And you know I, you have to play your game. Of course, you have to play smart. Um, you look at those those games where I fouled out. I got I got some uh, some unintentional silly fouls, whether that be you know over the back here or you know a charge or something of that nature. So some offensive fouls, some things that you don't want to get. Um, hasn't really been on the defensive end. Hasn't really been too aggressive. They've been you know mistakes where you know I feel like it's been marginal errors. So you know like marginal is like over the back. Like can it be over the back? Is that competing for a loose ball? Is that competing for a rebound? Uh, charging, you know, I'm, I'm too aggressive, something like that. I remember I got called on a few post ups. So, I mean, it's, yeah, you don't want to foul out. Yeah, you want to play smart, but, you know, that's living within those margins, and that's been an aggressive big guy in this league. Yeah. The, the team is, is learning, you know, taking baby steps and learning how to close out games. Uh, Tuesday, did you notice a difference on the floor in the final minutes or coming out of the huddles where you thought, well, hey, you know, we're doing a better job of taking care of business out here? I mean, at every media time out, man, um, you know, a lot of guys had a lot of things to say. And, you know, what I said is I, I just kept repeating it, let's just win. I mean, you know, we, we felt, you know, you know, holding out a few games. We felt, you know, fumbling in the bag a few games. So I'm just telling the guys, look, you know, we have, we've been on both sides before. Let's, let's decide to win as a unit. Let's decide to take care of the ball. Let's decide to play defense. Let's decide to not give them a chance to come back into this game. Yes, they can make hard shots. Yes, we can make mistakes. But we can't make a, you know, a, a, a habit of either. And I guess in the last two wins in that type of setting, you look at the play-by-play the play player, the box score, and you, you won the game at the foul line. And, and that's something you guys seem to be doing a lot better job with also. Uh, yeah, I mean, we lost. Uh, I'll take responsibility for that. I mean, at Pitt, we had a chance to um, to beat those guys. I missed a bunch of free throws down late. Um, a few other games, um, what, even at Q's, we had a chance to, you know, to, to, to give ourselves a chance to, you know, be in the game late. We missed a couple free throws down the stretch. I mean, like, oh, I mean, that's what wins games. You know, defense, at least at the end of the game, defense, not making turnovers and uh, making free throws. So if you want to win the game, if you want to give yourself a chance to win, you have to do those things at a high level. 
James, how did you feel about playing in the MIT? Uh, if it came to, of course, any any chance you know extend your season is going to be a blessing, especially for a senior. But um, I mean, you, you you know what every kid wants. I mean, you you want, you want that one shining moment, and that doesn't happen in IT. That happens in NC two A. So I mean, you know, um, we're grateful for whatever chance we get, of course, but we're not striving for that at all. Is there anyone saying funny to you about your glasses? Oh man, you cream yeah. a lot or that or. I, I, no, the, the kids, as soon as I came out, that's the first thing they said. They said, give us a skyhook, give us a skyhook. I said, look, if they, if they weren't doubling so hard, I would. But, uh. <laughs>